Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video and welcome to another No HUD Challenge video. In the last episode, you all voted for me to play as the tank commander. He was voted by far the most popular one. So that's who we're going to be playing as in today's video. In the recent content update, they did actually buff this character. Uh, so he's slightly more powerful than what he was before. We don't have many upgrades for him, so maybe we can get another one uh, or another two today by getting him to level level 5 and level 9 but if you don't know what the no HUD challenge is we're gonna go over to the settings go to options miscellaneous and turn the HUD visibility on none now we're gonna get into detail in a second about what the no HUD is but if you do want to go vote on what character I should play next week there will be a link down in the description to a straw poll make sure you do all vote on that and whichever one comes out on top is the character that you will see next week so as you can see on screen this is the no HUD you can see there's no cursor in the middle so there's no like kind of reticle in the middle so I don't know exactly where I'm going to be firing I can't see my abilities I can't see my health and more importantly I can't see when I will damage an enemy I don't know how much damage I'm going to be dealing to them I won't know if I directly hit them so this is going to be a little bit of a challenge now we do have a few multiplayer quests but we're going to play some turf takeover in today's game so let's get the assist one up there as well and also let's get another one uh, with this one let's go for the zombie stink cloud uh, just while we are playing as a foot soldier so i'm going to cut the video here guys and i will see you in a second all right so here we go guys on great white north for our first game and uh, we the first garden was just captured so let's actually see what we can do here we have a rose over there that's in her arcade enigma so let's try and take her out over here all right i want to try and get some vanquishes oh no that's not good come on no no it's de i can definitely feel instantly this is going to be a difficult challenge especially that i don't know where i'm going to be hitting i'm not a big fan of the tank commander anyway so i think this is going to be a, a little bit tricky i don't know where i'm going to be hitting Oh, we get a vanquish. I heard the vanquish. No, no, the chomper managed to take me out. How much health did he have? Because I think I did directly hit him. 10%. Ah, oh, darn it. We do want to try and get um, a zombie stink cloud damage uh, challenge complete as well. So let's try and do that as well. I have a feeling a chomper might be burrowed over here though. So let's try and look out for that. Hello, chompers, where are you? All right, so I can't see one at the moment. Let's throw the zombie stink cloud down. Let's try and get this pea shooter. Come on. No. I'm gooped and I'm swallowed. <laughs> oh, this is definitely going to be difficult. I can see a lot of deaths happening and not too many vanquishes. We have one vanquish so far. So we're not doing too good. But uh, maybe we can go on a roll. You never know. You can get surprised sometimes. There's a vanquish. Let's try and make that two. Not quite just yet. Let's wait for that third one. Come on. Zombie Stink Cloud. There we go. I think we get at least a shared vanquish for that one. I can see the game's just about to end though, which isn't good. So, I don't know if we're going to have to play another game. There we go. The game has ended. So, we are going to be playing another game from the start. Uh, exactly from the start. So, that was a very short game. But we do actually get a quest completed, which is pretty awesome. I'm wondering how many times I damaged... A plant with my stink cloud probably not much probably one maybe I think when I took out that rose maybe I got the uh, one part of the quest done then but I think I ended up with two vanquishes at the end of that game let's just have a quick look at the end of the game to see how we did probably not very good I'm not gonna lie <laughs> Definitely not very good. What do we get? We got three vanquishes in total. We're in three and three, so it was at a 1 KD ratio. So that's not too bad, uh, saying we only just joined the game. Let's see how many times I damaged a plant. I managed to damage them three times, which is interesting. We want to try and take out some kernel corns as well. So that's something we want to do and try and get a few assists as well. So I'm going to cut the video here, guys, and I'll catch you in a second. Alright, so here we go, guys. We're actually on Great White North once again. So let's start straight from the beginning. Let's see what we can do on this map. Let's see if we can tear it off with a vanquish rather than a death. That would be pretty nice if we could do that. I don't know how confident I feel though. Let's see if we can get something with that ZPG. Oh, we do! Oh, we get the Citron! Very nice. We start off with a vanquish. Don't know if it was the first strike. It was the first strike as well. Ooh. First strike with a ZPG with no HUD. 
I mean, if I could be like that for every single Vanquish in this game, that would be pretty awesome. Somehow we have a feeling that that's not going to happen. Alright, let's use the Zombie Stink Cloud. We managed to get another Vanquish there as well, and then I get destroyed by the Citron. Come on, Zombie Stink Cloud. It was actually uh, Druid Rose that managed to take me out, not Citron. Sometimes it kind of confuses you. Sometimes you think it's the Citron, and it turns out to be totally different. Citron did get a nerf, though, in the recent update. I've not actually played the Citron, so I don't know how different he is. We could probably give him a go. We could probably see how he is, and uh, see how much he's changed. All right, let's just let's just fire the ZPG in there, see if we can get something. All right, there's a chomper. Let's try and take this chomper out. There we go. There's the vanquish. Very nice. A Citron, you want to go down? I can see myself on low health, or getting on at too low health. There's another vanquish. Come on, Citron. Come on, you must be close to dying. Did we get a shared vanquish for that one? We're on six vanquishes. We're actually on a roll right now. Can we make it a third one? No, don't you dare take me out. Zombie Stink Cloud. No! How much health was you on? I must have hit you like three times. 9% health. Come on. <laughs> I honestly cannot believe that. We were so close to taking a Colonel Corn out then. We was on a roll with Vanquishes right then. So that's that's my game done. That's right. No more death. Uh, no more kills now. It's just uh, Vanquishes from now on. Uh, just deaths from now on. Let's try and damage some plants though with that. Oh, gravity grenade. Very nice. We can get a couple of damage damages there. Let's try and take out the Citron. There we go. Gatlin, down you go. No, I think I think the Super Brains blocks my shot for a second then on the P Gatlin. How are we doing? Seven vanquishes. A lot better than when we started off the last game. That's uh, that's definitely uh, a good thing. Let's hop over here and. Take out this Rose character! There we go! I thought that ZPG may have missed for a second, but it didn't. We're actually on a roll. We've got like two or three Vanquishes. I think it's actually three Vanquishes with, uh, with ZPGs. Did I hit him? I have no idea if I'm hitting him or not, though. It's so hard to try and judge. I think I'm actually hitting him. Like, no HUD? I'm definitely not doing too bad. Do I get a Vanquish for that? I don't think I did get a Shared Vanquish for that, but I think I must have hit him like once or twice. Which is a pretty good for no hood, and then I can't miss it, and then and then I can't get a chomper from up, up close. Come on, come on! You must be close to dying. There's one. There's two. Let's get on the garden now as well. Let's try and capture as much as we possibly can before any plants come. Oh, he's burrowed. So let's get ready to uh. To jump away. Oh, I can't even jump. Come on. Take the ZPG to the face. Alright, there we go. We got an upgrade. We got a third upgrade. I'm stuck on the top. I can't move. I'm stuck on the top. I can't move. <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> oh, I literally could not move at all. Alright, let's jump on this car. Oh no! Where's Chomper? There he is. Where is he firing? Like, all right, he goes down. We managed to capture that garden as well fairly quickly, so I'm pretty wee happy with that. We do have a garlic drone on the ground somewhere, or in the air somewhere. So, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take that out very easily. So, I could really do with getting a, a Harry the Healer up, because I haven't seen any scientists this game. So, if I do see a spot where I can spawn a a, a, a zombie. I might spawn a Harry up. Alright, there we go. There's one over here. So let's try and spawn this up. I think this was one over here. Nope, that was a campfire. That was a fire in instead. But we're probably close to full health anyway now, to be honest. Zombie stick load! There we go. There's another Vanquish. We're actually doing a lot better this time than what we was in the last game. So I'm actually quite happy with how this is going so far. I'm definitely happy with how this is going. Hello, goat. I don't know why I was going to fire at you then. But either way, let's just carry on going. Taunt. We have taunts from Citron. Have a zombie stink cloudy. Nope, not got it unlocked yet.
There we go. Oh, sunflower went down. I thought it was going to be citron that goes down, not the sunflower. <laughs> what was going on there? No idea. Oh no, a chomper gets me. No. Leave me alone, chomper. Vain brutal. All right, let's uh, let's put that character upgrade on what we did get for the character. That's one thing as well which we have no idea about is we don't know how. Actually, it just said then how much I was leveled up, uh, but usually we would have no idea how far uh, we've got uh, leveled up. I don't know if I'm level six, level seven, level eight. Uh, I've never actually known that boulder's come down though. I know I've seen the slide, but I've never actually got squished or seen anyone get squished by that boulder. So that's something that's quite interesting. Come on, ZPG. Not quite. Have a zombie stink cloud. How close are we to the zombie stink cloud? 23 out of 30. We're getting there. We're getting there. What about assists? Six. We could get both of them in these games, but I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Now, this is where it'll get a little bit difficult as well because it's hard to see some places because of the snow. It can be hard to see. Or it can actually be hard for the plants to see us, actually. So this could give us a bit of an advantage. Let's see how this goes. All right, this is a P Gatlin. I know I'm definitely hitting him, though. Let's get one more in there. Is that going to take him out? Nope. One more. How is he not dead? I'm sh I must have been hitting him, though. I know I definitely hit that Citron. Alright, let's use his EPG. Let's see if we can get anything from that. Zombie stink clothes away. I have no idea if I'm hitting them or not. Alright, there we go. Zombie stink clothes completed. We got a vanquish over there as well. Let's see if we can take out Citron. We got another vanquish there, which I have no idea what was from. I just heard a ting and I'm like, yep, no idea where that's from. Oh no, we get taken out. Was that by Colonel Corn's Husk Cop? It wasn't, it was a scurdy shroom. Look at him cowering. If I was a little bit closer to him, or her, I, I think a scurdy shroom's a her. Uh, a little bit closer to the scurdy shroom, then would have been able to not die from the scurdy shroom, because it would have hidden away, because it was too scared to actually do anything. They've got a huge amount of damage, they're just scared. Simple enough. Alright. No, let me get up there. Can the chomper get up there? I don't think it can. Alright, level 6. We know where we're on as far as levels go. Is that chomper still alive? Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> I really want Disco Chomper. I really, really do want Disco Chomper. Unfortunately, I've not got him yet. But I want him. Alright, come on, Sunflower. You can revive things all you want. I'll just try and take them out instead. No! Toxic Chomper! Taking me out. Vain Brutal again. How many vanquishes are we on? 21 vanquishes. We're doing really surprisingly well with this character. Like, I didn't expect to do this good. Like, I didn't expect to be doing this good. I saw the first game and I was like, oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. We're actually doing better than I thought. So, that's good. It's not going to be as embarrassing for you guys to watch as what I thought, but uh, make sure you do comment, uh, not comment, make sure you do click the poll in the description to actually vote on what character you would like me to play next week. But yeah, I'm really interested to see how we can how we can finish off on this game. I cannot even see that pea shooter. So if he uh, ends up killing me, I cannot see him. So that kind of works out. Oh, there he is. Can we get him with a CPG? Come on. Oh, that was so close. I was so close. Really? I get gooped. He still looks stunned at the moment. Alright, the pea shooter's gone. Let's protect this engineer so we can build this portal. Or his teleporter. And then we're gonna go and try and capture the objective. Come on, Colonel Khan. Look at all these flowers. Let me reload. Got a very slow reload. It does have a very slow reload, so I'm thinking, as far as what I've heard, there's two reloads for this character. So it gets a lot better, uh, a lot better when the reloads are given to you. But for now, we're going to have to deal with how he is. Watch him become like one of the most powerful characters in the game once he does have all of his upgrades. But for now, he's just a bit not good. But let's carry on capturing this objective. Let's take out the chomper. There we go, down he goes. 
Anyone else want a piece of the tank commander? Have a ZPG. Never mind, I've not got my ability. I still don't know when I've got my abilities ready, so that makes it difficult as well. Alright, we can rocket leap forward. Can we do it twice? Yes, we can. And this is where it's also going to get difficult as well, because I have no idea which objectives they own and which objectives we own. What does that say? Freeze the seeds for the future. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea which objectives we've got and which ones they've got. So I'm just going to head over. Uh, right, they're going to that one. So I'm going to get this one. Like if I turn this now. There we go, that's us. And then there is the third one, which is just over there. Oh, hello. Alright, have a zombie stink cloud. Colonel Carl, go away. Alright, there's a vanquish. <laughs> no, we go down. Ow. Darn it. Alright, I have no idea how close we are to winning as well. Like, I don't know how many we own, so I'm going to have to keep going between all three of them to actually see how we're doing. Which is going to be a little bit difficult. Alright, oh, I can actually see the light. So I know we're not... So this is the only one we've not got on so far because of the light. Alright, so we got that turned now as well. So, what are we doing? Oh, no, 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 that one's turned. This one's turned again. We need to, we need to turn this back. There we go. See, I know which ones we actually need to, to, uh, to move. Which is pretty interesting. There we go. So, we've got all three of them on the uh, Yeti currently, I think. Is this one on? No, this one isn't on. This one's not on. As that goes down, let's turn this as well while we can. Go on, no, go away. There we go, thank you, Mr. Superbrains. There we go, so we've got that one turned. That one turned. This one needs to be turned again. Let's carry on going. There we go, let's turn it now. <laughs> I've done so many different ones, and I can't see the objective. I'm just looking at the, at the beams of light to actually see which ones are and and not actually um, on our side <laughs> and it looks like we've got all three of them on so far so that's good looks like we've got all three of them is this one still on yes it is so let's try and keep an eye on all three of them I can actually do that from here which is a pretty nice spot to go sounds like crazy Dave isn't happy so that's good for us can we take out Colonel Khan not quite not quite just yet Looks like we are going to get this so far, though. I mean, we've got all three of them on the Yeti. Can we see him melting or anything? Can we see any indication that he's melting from over there? Not at the moment. Come on. There we go. There's another Vanquish. There we go. Oh, look at him melting now. He's melting now. Look at that. He is melting. All right. Come on, come on, OP. There we go. Managed to win the game. I actually don't know how many times I turned the actual dials, but I was the one that couldn't see which ones we actually owned. I actually had to look at the lights to see which ones it is. But there we go. We melted the ice for the zombies. Let's do a celebration. Where are we? We're at the very back there. Covered by the middle bit in the screen. So we ended up winning that game. I did better with the tank commander than I initially thought. So that was pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the tank commander on this no hood challenge. Let's actually see how we did. We got the first strike with that ZPG. I think we probably got maybe 30 vanquishes, 25 to 30 vanquishes in total. Not sure what streak we ended up going on, so let's go have a look. We got 28 vanquishes, we went 28 and 6, so we did really good considering that we never managed to actually uh, have a hood on. We went on a vanquish streak of 8, we got 20 assists, so we do only need to get 5 more for that challenge as well. But let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this character. Make sure you do vote in the straw poll on which character you would like me to play next week. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero Fusions, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.